Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can start moving over to the new OneNote experience on a Windows device. Okay, so for most people on a Windows device using OneNote, you're either going to be here in the OneNote for Windows 10, or you're going to be over in this one, which is the OneNote app, which most or a lot of kind of long-term OneNote users will refer to as OneNote 2016, but no longer. Because what we do know is that there's one version coming to bring it all together with a new integrated look. Now, with these, let's take a, you know, let's take a quick look at these side by side. There we go. Um, this is exactly the same worksheet. And so one of the big things we know is that the kind of the top bars, the top navigation bars, they look a little bit different, have different functionalities in them. The big one really is the differences between the way things are organized um, in regards to your sections and your pages. That part is still yet to come. We'll have a look at that at the end of the video, but we're gonna have a look at how we can take this OneNote app and update it a little bit to the modern UI. So if you're in this version, what you want to do is up here in the top, right hand corner, there will be a little announcement icon. Sometimes if it doesn't show up in your OneNote, you can open up your Outlook and it will be there and this will still apply. Um, and to basically it'll update all of your Office 365s to up and coming features. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this and you're gonna get this little panel about what is coming soon. You can read through that if you want, watch the little video as well. But what we're looking for is down the bottom here, right next to me, is the try new experience. And at the moment it's off for me. So I'm gonna toggle that on. And then it's just gonna tell you that you need to restart the application. So nothing happens at first, don't worry about that. I'm just gonna come down and do a full hard reset here on it. Let's reopen that and instantly changed. So let's do another comparison here of them side by side. And we can kind of see that we've got the modern look coming in, but we don't have those column parts coming in yet. But let's have a look at what we have here. So we've kind of got this more of this streamlined look with the curved edges, which we know have kind of come with the whole Windows 11. And just as a side note, you can do this on Windows 10 or Windows 11. It doesn't matter which one you're on. What you can choose, depending on how you had your defaults set up, is clicking on this little down arrow is the simplified ribbon. So you get a little bit more real estate in regards to your actual OneNote pages. Um, and everything kind of just comes a little bit more compact along the screen. If I drop that back down, let's have a look and we can go back to that classic ribbon view as well. What we know is that here in this view section is where we'll have that ability to choose between tabs. but coming soon indeed. If we have a look through here, we do can see that we can enable um, a video recording, so that'll enable your camera as well onto the screen, not something that we've typically had in the OneNote for Windows 10 as well. So that's something that you can add into that space. And if we have a look at the drawer, we're kind of still on the old versions here these will update as well to kind of work with the more modern pen um, integration that's come in but we definitely kind of have our ink to math in here and our ink to shapes as well which have been brought over um kind of everything else is kind of staying about the same kind of the other nice thing if you want to go through and explore it because you've kind of moved over to this older slash new version of OneNote is that in your options here, you've got a lot more control over those options. Um, and you can kind of go through and have a look about what's going on. There's a couple of other little nice things as well that have been brought over, which we've seen in other versions. For example, if I want to take this page and I want to move slash copy it, let's say um, I'm moving it from my digital Richards one, let's just put it here in my, my notebook here into quick notes. Um, so I'm going to put a copy of it in. Cool. It's doing it in the background. Trust me. Let's say though, I do want to take this one as well is that I can go move slash copy. And what you'll notice is that it will pick up on your, your most recent picks. 
as well. So where before, um, if you're, especially if you're in education or you just have lots of notebooks, you've got to kind of scroll through them all and find it again. If it's not up the top, it's really frustrating. But if it's kind of something that you're doing and you're picking and taking from different sections where you can't do it as like as a bulk group, it's really quite nice. It speeds things up and I can just quickly copy that over again. I don't have to find it. So let's, um, there was a recently announced, let's have a look. I have it here ready to go. I'll put the link to this at the bottom of the video as well, but this kind of came out early December, so not too long ago. And that is this announcement about um, this change to this modern UI. And so it's saying that it's coming in early 2023. And so we know though with Microsoft is that they don't kind of just roll everything out at once. It kind of is always very gradual, which is obviously a good thing, but we can see that we can move and change. So um, the lovers of 2016 will kind of just get more of a little bit more of a modern update with the curved lines and everything. But if you're kind of a, maybe a, a Mac or and you're moving to Windows or um, you're used to kind of the iOS or the Windows 10 version, you're going to be able to have that new look. So it's gonna sit right here in the view tab um, under tab layouts and where you'll be able to select tab layouts from there and you can choose either to have that vertical um, basic uh, orientation, sorry, or you can have the horizontal orientation as well. The other one, big one with this one is that we are going to see that your notebooks will kind of become a little bit more organized off to the left-hand side, which I actually kind of really like this. Um, you can kind of see the proper real structure um, that sits inside of a notebook and then the pages kind of sit inside of this white space. So sometimes like in training or working with teachers, you kind of stumble over the whole section pages, notebooks and you know section groups part. This kind of makes that division really nice and clear, which is just part of that new UI. So just as a last reminder, if you wanna switch over and start to see this new modern look, but the switching between views is not quite there yet. It's as simple as looking for this coming soon announcement, moving down and waiting for it. Here it comes, the new experience to switch that on and then you'll get that opportunity to start to see how this is going to look. All right, that is everything for this video. I'm very excited about the new change coming over. We'll definitely drop a video when it comes through, but I hope you keep enjoying using OneNote and we will see you again soon. Cheers.